everyone, this is Frito Tato Radio Raven. I'm here with my reaction review of Drag Race Espania, season number one, episode number two. Now, the mini challenge has to do with a word puzzle where the pit crew has been invited into the workroom and they'll be showing the alphabets of the word and it will all it will all be scrambled up and the queens have to guess what that alphabet actually means, like what word it actually makes up. And even though I like such puzzles, the words are in, are going to be in Spanish, so yeah, I lose. But anyway, let's see how the queens do. I have no idea. <laughs> No. Sagitaria is trying to win, yeah. Huh? Calentura. No. Sí. Okay, the fever. Es calentura, la palabra. Podéis orden. A ver. I can't play this game. Okay, Kupi. Sausage? Who's going to win? Come on. Oh, Kupi. Kupi was first. Uy, qué rapidez. Mm -hmm. Ni bad. She won. What? They're making the big group us So for the main challenge, the queens got uh, got divided into two groups, and because Poopy Poison won the mini challenge, she had advantage that she was the team captain. And I mean, considering how team cap how team captains are in a lot of pressure, I'm not really sure if that's a big advantage, <laughs> if you ask me. Anyway, uh, Booby got to the, uh, got to be the first to decide which quiz she wanted on her team, and uh, the captain for the second team was Hugasio because Hugasio won uh, the previous episode, so these are the two team leaders are the captains. Now, during their uh, vocal recordings, a number of queens can't really sing. So there's that. Not only did the queens have to sing uh, sing and record their lyrics and write their lyrics and all of that stuff, they also have to, had to come up with their own choreography. So I'm excited to see what these uh, queens ended up doing. And there was this weird scene uh, with Carmen Farala and a, and a bunch of other queens. So after the queens they thought were ugly, and I was like, Carmen, no, don't do that, please. I, I wasn't a fan of that particular moment where they had these spray cans in hand and they were spraying the ugly queens, which, I mean, come on. Even though it was supposed to be a joke, I guess. Anyway, the main challenge, let's watch. Poopy Poison's team is up first. Arancha going up first, okay. Uh, I like the looks. I really like how Poopy Poison looks. Okay. Oh, I like the headpiece. 
Saying tribute to Veneno? A reveal. Okay, okay. This is a good outfit. Yeah, this really feels like a proper shrine to Veneno. I'm not really sure about the platforms though. I know that it's supposed to be Lotano's signature, but they were kind of getting in her way during the performance. Okay, come on, MP. Okay. There's likely a reveal or something. Yeah. I mean, that's something I can really see Veneno wearing. Also, if you don't know, you should watch that uh, Veneno TV series. I like the uh, La Veneno uh, tribute. I like it. Killer Queen. Mm. <laughs> huh. Okay, basically, as an angel who represents trans people, iconic dresses. Okay, the trans flag colors. Okay, I'm getting the story. Rima mm. is up next, and let them come by. Uh huh, yeah. Arantia, what? It's supposed to be. Uh -huh. I mean, I'm not mad at the look, but compared to what the other contestants did, it feels way too simple. Rasio concept. Yeah, Fugazi is always going to give you a different concept. Transmitting energy and power. Okay, so basically a superhero from the comic book world. I see it. Well, let's hope the judges get this concept. Because compared to the rest of the queens, Hmm. Okay, Carmen Ferrara. Oh, she looks like her. Carmen won. Carmen Ferrara won, in my opinion. It's it's going to be. Yeah, she won. It's probably going to be between her and Poopy Poison. Volcano's look was amazing to you, but the performance wasn't that good. But Carmen Ferrara is the one to beat. The face, the face keeps on reminding me of La Venina. So they understood Hugasio's concept. Yeah, kill him. They're safe. They're safe. The current party, I'm feeling a bit of uh, dysphoria as a trans Oh. It's hard to accept my look, my body. Sometimes I don't see myself in the bed. Oh, these, these are important conversations. Patient, you need to look for yourself in the mirror and try not to look for negative features. Because, because you don't need hormones to be trans, you don't need a therapist piece of paper that says you're trans, you don't need any of that. Carbon mm -hmm. for all of one, which I'm happy about it. I'm okay with it. As for Volcano and Arancha being in the bottom, I'm not really sure. If I'm okay with Volcano being there, drag Volcano. Oh, the song is by Lavanino. That's good. Aranja I can understand, but Volcano, come on, that's a very good look. Especially when you're paying a tribute to someone. Yeah, I have a feeling that they're going to keep uh, Aranja. Because I really think that Aranja has a lot of potential. And the personality makes for very good TV. The gloves are coming off. Reminds me of what Scarlett did. <laughs> Scarlett Adam. Okay. Okay. I mean, if you're supposed to give sexy and all of that, you pay tribute to Lavanino, Arancha is giving that in the performance. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if Arancha wins this. Yeah, she's really, she's really going in for it. Arancha, I will give it to Arancha. Yeah, they really want to drag Volcano to ditch the platforms, which, I mean, I'm not really sure how to feel about it. I like drag queens who have a signature look, but then again, this is a reality competition and the judges expect you to be versatile. So, yeah. That was the episode. Let me know what you thought about it. Are you okay with Carmen Farala winning? I'm okay with it because by the end of it, it was either Carmen or Poopy Poison and it went to Carmen, which, okay. Let me know what you thought. Until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later. Bye.